I come from Western Kenya, an area known as Nyanza province, and the people who live here have been living there for about um, 2,000 years. Previous to that, we were up in North Africa, and it is said that we migrated from Egypt. Now, the instrument I play, known as Nyatiti, is found in various forms, sizes, number of strings, construction material, from Egypt down to the um, valley of Lake Victoria and the Rift Valley. The Luo people happen to play this lyre in the eight-string format, and we call it Nyatiti. Nyatiti translates into daughter of the clan, daughter of the extended family. So we consider Nyatiti uh, feminine. Uh, my grandmother told me jealously feminine. So I'll play some here. The construction is eucalyptus, fig tree, and that's cowskin. Um, because it is female, we use cowskin. The bridges, a double bridge, is held down by beeswax, and the bridges themselves are papyrus. Third bridge is a podo or any softwood. Strings, we use fishing line. I just happen to have one cello string. So the tuning is done by actually turning these around, and the strings tighten themselves. It stays in tune for very well, in fact, for, for such a simple method of tuning. Uh, I'm told it's in a pentatonic scale, but I can't be sure because I'm not a theorist. is really mainly rhythmic so it's like having a drum pattern with a little bit of a melody to give you pitch and the rest of the work is all done by voice and uh, uh, the lyrics that you choose most of the lyrics are based on praise singing and um, because well ho hopefully I've gained a lot of other experiences from different cultures I'm involving a lot more within the lyric writing 